We're back with Link, the faces of evil. Great. Of course, we're going to start this part with another fucking raft. Yep. Uh. That is the slipperiest volcano I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Oh, I see the back door was supposed to come out the right back there, of that so volcano. I, I looked okay. and it was just like, okay, maybe I can go down this way and it wor actually worked. I thought I was going to die. How do you do? I will say I do like that about the environments too. They try to, well, they try to, to have, you know, environmental cohesion. Like one area leads to another. Like at the beginning of this area was the volcano from the end of the last area. Uh, uh, I gotta so... take points off though for trying to do death perception because it looked like the raft was just going up. Death 3DS step. remake, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> not after, not not before Majora's Mask. No, totally before Majora's Mask. I want to see those uh, fanboy tears come my way. <laughs> well, we, haven't haven't our haven't our hasn't our life force been sustained enough with the Owen fanboys? Oh. Yeah, gu uh, guys, Gen 3 remakes probably aren't going to happen. Unless you want to spend uh, 18 out of your 30-hour playthrough surfing. Uh, but I don't know why you'd want to that. that. <laughs> aren't you the one who recorded yeah. that for us? Um, shush. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I really need to play it. I really need to actually get back into Pokemon. I actually haven't played it since Gen 3. That was really the one. And I kind of have Play Black and White 2. Okay. Yeah. Or Black and White 1. I kind of have an odd bias against Gen 3 because it was just... I don't know if I was kind of burnt out of Pokemon at the time or if Everyone it was, because, was burnt like, out of uh, Pokemon at the time. You your Pokemon over to Ruby and Sapphire from uh, Gold and Silver and Red and Blue. So I, so I think what I ended up doing, I was like, all this time I spent, was that all for nothing? And I, got, and I think I just kind of like got burnt out after that. Yeah, uh, a lot of people I know, including myself, got burned out after Gen 2. Uh, well, uh, you know, I kind of felt like I got a bit reinvigorated when uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red came out. Same here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just sort of gave me back a bit of that passion for Pokemon, and I was a bit more receptive to playing the newer ones. It helps that you could also trade your Pokemon to Gen 3 from that instead. Well, no, trading your Pokemon from Fire Red to Ruby and Sapphire is a colossal pain in the ass. Yeah, uh, but at least you can keep them. <laughs> at least you can keep. Oh God, it's these guys. Okay, I'm not gonna try to sing that. Are you singing the fairy theme or the 60s Batman theme? Yeah, I would actually sing the fairies theme. But if Adam West would make this better, then I'm all for it. To to be honest, I think I'd actually prefer the derptastic polygonal fairy from uh or Ocarina of Time to these things. They're just sort of like, I, I don't even know what they're doing. They're just sort of like, I don't know, are they high on something? Because they're just sort of fly, floating around, sort of like stone. I think, they're I think the one of them was cross-eyed. I think one of them was cross-eyed. But, um... <laughs> oh, yes, these things, the flying swordfish. Let's, let's just stop to appreciate this. We're fighting swordfish that are flapping their fins to fly in the air. Ironically, this is about the part where I like where I kind of realized I was actually having a little bit of fun playing this game. No, mm. you weren't. It was Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Stockholm. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if I must give if I must give the game credit for something, the soundtrack's all right. The soundtrack's it's, guilty yeah, pleasure worthy good. at least. Somebody but, uh... really likes the bass. Oh, that's all I got <laughs> to say on the matter. But, uh, relatively speaking, this area doesn't look that bad, like, design-wise. Yeah, I look pretty vanilla, actually. It's always the music that ends up being the redeeming factor of a shitty game, except Super Mario 64 and Big Rigs. Big Rigs doesn't count, though, it doesn't have any sound. Big Rigs doesn't count as a game. <laughs> yeah, uh, the end-all be answer, I suppose. Big Rigs is what, what happens when you leave a, a toddler alone with a development kit for five minutes. I think a toddler can do a better job of making a game than the people who made Big Rigs. Mm. Well, we've already proved that a pack of monkeys can beat Pokemon, so possibly. <laughs> <laughs> so many giant mosquitoes everywhere. Raid! The sword, the, the sword itself has to touch the item for it to pick it up, right? Yep. 
Uh, that's the most bullshit thing. Yeah, so what it's is Link weird too, because you can actually things. attack and completely miss because you're so close to it. Mm. Stir the berries in the tub. Let the oh, jeez. Lady, glove. lay off the carrots. Never power. Gloves! Gloves, a glove of power. Wow, thanks. You got the power glove, Joy. <laughs> it looks so bored after that. <laughs> I love the power love glove. That. It's so rad. No, it's it, so great. It's so bad. Oh, yeah. it's so the great. What, wait, wait. Was the power glove a thing around this time? Yes. It was or, still a, yeah. yeah. It was a, it oh, was so the wizard come out anyway. Eighty-nine. Ah. Uh, yeah, this game so came out the, in ninety. It's ninety. Yeah, this game came out in ninety-three. So. Yeah, that's right. The power glove was in. Nintendo Entertainment System thing, wasn't it? Jeez. Yep, and it didn't yep. function then, and motion controls really don't function now. Uh, ah, motion, okay. motion, yeah. okay. yeah. motion plus is okay. Motion plus is okay. Motion plus is okay. Wii U isn't bad, from what I can tell. Uh, IR the pointing has been and always will be awesome. No, well, IR pointing is. IR pointing's control. been around since the seventies, Ted. Not for video games. Well, uh, actually, the, the 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 way it worked back then was different. It was like the screen flashed black. Or yeah. something, and then there would be hitboxes. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. I are point, pointing as a tech. In front of, in front of a uh, light bulb, and then you'd always hit that duck. Really <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, the um, uh, what I was, my my point was, motion control isn't hopeless. It just it, they made it mandatory way too fucking early. Is all I'm gonna say. And. Well, now the big thing is virtual reality headsets. <laughs> Which, I have, well... How much is the Oculus Rift? Like, $800 or something? Right? Well, Sony announced theirs, so... Well, yeah. since we're just going through the Castlevania house fighting pterodactyls again, I guess this doesn't this doesn't, this doesn't doesn't hurt as a tangent, but virtual reality headsets are really only good for first-person games. I'm just I'm just wondering who in, uh, who in Sony's... Uh, uh, office said, you want to know what was an underappreciated oh, idea? The Virtual Ooh, Boy. Let's try that. Actually, <laughs> actually though, no, if you think about it, first person games could benefit from the, from the headsets with their turning your head to look around thing and all of that. The thing is, since it's a peripheral, I don't think developers are going to give it as much support as it would need to take off that way. Well, most, I, I know where we'll get it to take off. It's probably just going to be an optional thing. No, not it's, Call of Duty. No, it's probably just going to be an optional thing for games that could function perfectly well with regular controller and television screen anyway. And in that so, case, chances the, are the actual uh, controller is going to be better. Well, the like, actual controller is what you use to control the thing to begin with anyway. It basically, the, from what I can tell, the headset would just allow you to look to change the camera. The, the headset is basically like a new resolution for the screen and you can look around by turning your head which could be really useful for taking care of one of those pesky first person camera limitations the fact that you can't look around and keep your gun pointed in the same direction or anything like that but the fact that it's a peripheral is going to make it so that it controls like a regular game anyway because developers are going to develop for regular controllers and uh, then it sounds like a logistical <laughs> nightmare and yeah. then add yeah. the, the the headset support afterward. So well, while I s there's a lot of potential, but I don't see that potential being reached anytime soon. Is all I'm saying. Well, I think the oh, issue God, here is like, we must be motion plus stairs like these to deal to... with. But yeah, no, we motion make, like, plus plus actually. Uh, God, I keep interrupting you. Um, sorry. We yeah, motion plus plus Oculus Rift plus Attack on Titan. <laughs> 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 oh come on, that would be awesome, when you know it. <laughs> what were you saying, bro? Um, what was I thinking? Like, they, well, the issue, like, if they did decide to make like extra functionality or whatnot for uh, including the, for like, say, the rift or something of the sort for developers, and the problem would be that they uh, would not a lot of developers would do it because it would be extra time and extra money to program for something that they couldn't guarantee would work or sell that much, so why even bother wasting the money and then it will just become a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's why yeah. there's like four games on the Wii that need the Wii Motion Plus, basically. Yeah. 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 And then they then they added the Wii Motion Plus into the controller and it became a bit more prevalent, but not it was only a bit. Well at the time it came out the Wii was already sinking massively, so Well it wasn't sinking. It was still doing pretty uh, 
I was still doing okay. It was it just out of it, it, it was a financial success still, but it was syncing with the gamer community, which was kind of where the Motion Plus was aiming for. Hey, it, it got it, it got Skyward Sword. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the the moral of the story here is that we all agree that we want Mirror's Edge 2 for the Oculus Rift. <laughs> that would be awesome, actually. <laughs> that, that could work. Have you yeah. ever seen anyone try to play Mirror's Edge with the uh, Oculus Rift? Does it require? I, did you, you actually know parkour? Uh, <laughs> well, people just I'm not nauseous. sure if Mirror's Edge can be. Is it compatible? No, well, you well, can make it. You can make a lot of. You can, any, yeah, it's just mods. <laughs> Oh, because well, people modded Ocarina of Time for Oculus Rift. Well, so yeah. Why would well, there, you want to use an Oculus Rift for a third-person game? No, it, it zooms in the first person. Oh. oh wait, which game? Ocarina of Time. Ah, uh, right. Um, why would you want to use Oculus Rift for an N64 game? Because it's Ocarina of Time. Because it, if because if it if it exists, you can play Tetris on it. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's why we don't have Ocarina of Time on the Oculus Rift. <laughs> <laughs> it screws up your eyes that yeah. badly. <laughs> yeah. Did you see Link's eyes there? <laughs> it also turns your mouth into a diamond shape that can't change form. Uh, no, I've seen, I've seen Metroid Prime on the Oculus Rift. Yeah. You know what? I cool. think the most jarring thing about this game is how much the animation clashes with the with the quote unquote organic look that the that the sprites and environments are are going for. Well, that's because the Russian that animators could... had no idea what they were doing whatsoever. I, uh, I well, love that, that the enemy passed through you and you just kept on stabbing until the enemy just went into your sword. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only. That's a very effective logic. way of fighting them, by the way. Oh god, it's called the Power Glove in the inventory, and it even looks like a Power Glove. Oh boy, another ring pop! What I don't get is why is why Phillips would bother endorsing the Power Glove, or were they making fun of it? Well, no, I it was it was know. an item in previous Zelda games. Oh, I see. Square Square endorses the Power Glove. It's a Square endorses of... the Power Glove with Chrono Trigger. That was in '96. Wait, what? Yeah, you can get a Power Glove in Chrono Trigger. It's like oh. one of the first uh, treasure chests you find in the game. Or at right. least I think it's like when you go back in time. <laughs> no, like, I, I just derped there and thought there was... Wait, did, the, did, the, did, the, did, the, did Chrono Trigger have Power Glove support? <laughs> Why would you ever play a JRPG with a Power Glove? <laughs> they didn't make a Power Glove. <laughs> Play that's it with like, a super scope. <laughs> that's, that's like asking me to play Final Fantasy VI with an Oculus Rift. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> so then you can play the, the turn-based RPG in first person. So you see No, you no, it's like, it's like when, you, when you fly the airship, it feels like you're flying. <laughs> yeah, but that's how many hours into the game? <laughs> ah, if you know what you're doing, five. Five? Wait, five? Really? John knows no, what he's doing. No, no, the, the part where you automatically... where, where Sets or automatically flies you to a place doesn't count. You face the Six. Insert Tumblr here. You must conquer Fortress Central with a treasure of death. That is the most badly designed castle ever. Every tower is a different shape and a different color. Wait, she disappeared and she's right there again in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Just pretend I went somewhere else. <laughs> Yeah, you see the teleportation, and it's just like, I'm gone. No, wait, no, really, you're right over there. I'm gone. Gone. Man. And it's time to visit our good friend, Morshu. You know, on the subject of this game being a game where they honestly tried, I would like to see, like, fan game developers just try to remake this game and actually make it good. Like, yes, as, make, make it happen. Like, like, as one-to-one -to, -one to the original as they can possibly manage, but good. So they don't make it. No, I, you know I can see if 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 the gameplay were were done were done differently and the animation didn't suck and there were better voice acting and the environments were given a touch up so that you could tell what you can stand on and what you can't and the enemy design were completely overhauled I can see this being a fun game. Oh, using the en Zelda 2 engine probably would have already brought the yeah, game up it would, in terms of quality. 
So no, honestly, what you're saying if they uh, if remade they the game and just put in a different set of buttons, and, well, I say that if they uh, if they update the control scheme so that you uh, have a dedicated start button and you can uh, you have a separate jump button, you have a separate attack button, and you have a uh, have a button to use uh, to use your items like standing or crouching, then yeah, it would probably be a lot better. Get your shit wrecked here. <laughs> Crap Damn. battle. That's what I mean by the whole. Uh, yeah, what's it? The whole uh, no uh, invincibility frames thing. That really fucks you up. So yeah, what like, you guys were saying is this, this game had three more years of development time, it might have been decent. No shit. <laughs> 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 if it had three more years of development time, Ted, the CDI would have died before it came out. Hey man, Duke Nukem Forever had how many years of development time? I don't care how many companies and developers it switched over, it's still a lot of years and it still ended up being shit. Half-Life 3. <laughs> No, I wouldn't say it was shit. I would just say it came out as well as it would have if it had taken one year to develop. Uh, horribly disappointing, which is almost worse. Well, like to be fair, I think anything would have been disappointing. Really? 